How you feeling about this? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, yeah. To get the black Boston. Isn't that what it was? Twelve. Nice. Oh, twelve. All right. That's cool. Very nice. Oh God. Look at that. Oh. Beautiful. <laughs> Are you gonna lose your mind? Yes, indeed. Look at all those leaves you can snag up on. Too many lumpers in there. All right, so we just left the Art Lube trailhead. Just now starting to climb up the trail. Um, it's Monday, it's about 4 p.m. Getting started, I think we're gonna end up doing a little night hiking. So maybe get in like around eight miles today. Nothing crazy. We do, and we're going to get lost at least once, if not a few times, right? How does that make you feel? <laughs> I feel one. I feel one. What do they say in Game of Thrones? The night is dark and full of terrors. Isn't that the saying? <laughs> so, I imagine we'll be hiking in the dark here for a bit. But man, it's awesome. Got some fog moving in. It's cold. Feels good. Just keeping on cruising. I imagine we'll find somewhere to set up here. Another mile or so. We still got probably four miles to go until we get to the Butter Gap shelter, which is the first shelter. But, uh, it be good for the first night since we got on the trail so early. Get some dinner, maybe make a fire. I don't know, we'll see. But this is what I'm looking at on the trail. It's pretty sweet. All the leaves are like glowing, like bright yellow. Pretty awesome. What's he getting? That sounds really funny. He dropped his pants. The things that happen in the woods. God, I remember that morning we got up. And it was super cold. And you could see the sun came over the ridge and it was coming down the other side. Get one. 
Well, we can, let's make it 30. It'll be a little lighter. 30 minutes. Just want to make sure we all are packed up around the same time. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I've not got my hammock packed up. I've at least got my sleeping gear. As soon as I get my hammock on the floor, then I'll be in the I mean, we could just stand around in the rain, and it would be totally fine if, uh, if we had an umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, got the coffee going. Yes, sir. It's a beautiful thing. Bottles everywhere. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, you might as well just accept that you're going to be wet. Oh, look at this! There's the trail. Oh, yes, sir! Woo! Oh, look at it down there. That's good look at hiking. Down there. This is rotted. Oh, yeah. River. That's awesome. Come on, make the plunge, just do it. Oh, come on. <laughs> Feels good. What? Look at this. All right. What? I don't think you're going around that one. <laughs> that was nothing, y'all. <laughs> Time to break out the waiting technique. I think maybe go to the other side. Over there? Yeah. That's pretty hard. That's probably your only option. No, it's actually hard. <laughs> nice. Oh, he pulls it off. You already, you already just dip right, right there. Oh, that's a just off right there. Hey, <laughs> just walk right through it. Right there. I, I might as well. I just walk to... right through it, for real. Don't even worry about it. Your shoes will drain. Walk right through it. Come on, Matt. Oh, I'm not that big of a <laughs> Come on, commit. <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome. All right. Cruising now. I can fill up 
Yeah, really hot. You guys need any more? Any more water? <laughs> uh, sounds about like that text. You want sweet mud? What do you have in here? Exactly. I get a shot of this. It's like filter action. Make sure you get the logo into proper product placement. Yes. <laughs> you get three cases of Fiji water. How does it work? Reasonably well. Is that the hang filter? The filter. Yeah. Just I mean, slow. for pouring that, the beauty is you don't do any. I mean, all you do is fill that and then hang that. You don't have to pump. Pump. Yeah. You don't have to pump squeeze. You don't have to do anything. So I'll do that and then do whatever else you know you want to do. It's lighter. It's lighter than a yeah, pump. It doesn't weigh anything. The only problem if you if you got just the puddle. You know, that can be high, you know, take a little longer to put water on it, it still works. So you guys all got titanium cups, the only way to go. The only thing that pisses me off about, I, I've lost three of them already. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's almost always somebody on the trail that humbles me. When we were on the Art Loeb Trail, it was Jim. Uh, we ran into him at the Butter Gap Shelter. Uh, we stopped there for a quick coffee and top off with water. While we were there and I was talking to him, he told me he'd been backpacking for uh, quite a few years. And even though he had a cadaver knee replacement and five stents in his heart, he just didn't want to give it up. So he was out for a few nights solo on the trail. I didn't get his age while we were talking, but he was definitely an older fellow and a hell of a nice guy. In my very humble opinion, Jim is a badass. I hope to run into him again someday. I think the rain has moved out. And so, it's feeling pretty good. It's still a little chilly, but we were stopped for a little while, so it's start cold and we'll be warmed up in no time. I think we got about 10 miles to go to the uh, Black Balsam Knob. Probably stay up there tonight and hopefully get some good stars. So, just keep on climbing. It's a beautiful morning. Matt, try not to cuss. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> might just be late for that. <laughs> the, uh, it's only four more miles of this. And then four more. <laughs> I'm gonna be shed some clothes here in a little bit. Yeah, it feels good. It's warm. I don't know, man. It's hard to say. They're big. Big. Going up. Shall we? Elevator going up. Up we go. Yeah. On the first two pretty good elevation climbs going north. Perfect weather. Still haven't had any more rain. We had like one little sprinkle, but it uh, didn't really rain. Other than that, it's been awesome. And it was windy earlier, but a lot of this freight, freight train got coming through. But now it's really calm, quiet. It's great. Definitely enjoying it. Let's see where these guys are. Oh, let's see. Look up here, look up here, look up here. Furly, 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 furly. 
<laughs> oh. oh, that's fun. Pack more chocolate next time. More chocolate. This is what we're looking at here. You know. And cheeseburgers. Potato soup and grilled cheese that we got right now. Yeah. Could you eat a beer? Oh man. So we have all of our stuff laid out in the little bit of sun we have and we're gonna grab some quick lunch so everything can dry out. We just took everything out of our packs and our tents from this morning and they're just, I mean, just water pouring out. So it'll be dry in about 15 minutes. And then uh, we can keep cruising. Looks like we're about to get our first real official unobstructed view. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. If that doesn't motivate you, I don't know what will. Ah, look, it's on both sides. All the way around. 360 degrees. Just ridiculously beautiful. Ah. Score! You! Wow. How's that? That's way worth it. Yeah. Holy crap. We're at 5,095 feet. What are we at? 5,095. Round and round, all around up. Now we're headed across to, we're gonna cross the parkway which you can see, but I don't think I can point it out. And then we're gonna go, we're basically gonna go up to this ridge, up. We got one more big climb to go down and then back up here. And we're gonna go across to Black Balsam and stay up there tonight and uh, watch the sunset. So we're gonna get moving. Um, we should be able to make it there for the sunset. I don't see why not. 